this is a warning to all who join us. You're going to leave the comfort of the light and step into the world of the supernatural. One thing draws us together, the dark. Hello everyone and welcome to day 7 of Terrorthon. Are you afraid of the dark? It's not a question, it's a TV series that ran in the 90s and rivaled Goosebumps. Let's get into it. So, Are You Afraid of the Dark was a Canadian TV series which ran on Nickelodeon from 1990 to 1996, so it lasted a fair while. And it involved a group of kids known as the Midnight Society who would gather around a campfire and tell each other scary tales. What was interesting is that most episodes had the same characters but they would be a different storyteller and all of the storytellers had their own unique style. And of course they would throw coffee mate on the fire to produce this spooky white smoke. Which was a mystery to all the kids of the time. How the hell have they done that? It was coffee mate the entire time. In many ways Are You Afraid of the Dark could actually be considered a tribute to The Twilight Zone, a fellow anthology series. Every episode of course centred on a completely different tale. And these stories were usually adaptations of fairy tales or urban legends, like perfect example, the monkey's paw featured in Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's been adapted so many times, Tales from the Unexpected, The Twilight Zone, and now Are You Afraid of the Dark? What was interesting about this show is that the kids were usually in very bad situations, for example, they were, their parents were going through a divorce or they didn't care. Some, in some cases, the parents were the actual source of the evil in the stories. Uh, they could be dealing with death. So it was quite grim in that way, all the adults were feckless as well. But the creator said that the reason for this was to show kids that were watching that even in these situations, they are not powerless. As stated in the intro, Are You Afraid of the Dark was almost as big as Goosebumps. I didn't hear of it myself growing up. But especially in Canada where it was filmed, and in America, it was just as big as its rival series. So you may be asking, what are some of the best episodes if I've never seen this before? Well, the general consensus is that the tale of the shiny red bicycle is one of them, the tale of the midnight madness, they all started with the tale of, and the tale of the frozen ghost, they're often called the three very best episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark, so if you want a starting point, if you're into this sort of thing, then that's where to do it, but I mean with 65 episodes over the five seasons of the show's original run, there's lots to choose from. Much like Goosebumps, Are You Afraid of the Dark wasn't just limited to its TV series. There was also a PC game called The Tale of Orpheus Curse in 1994. There were books, tapes, board games, and even a film was announced in 2017, but unfortunately it was cancelled two years later by Paramount. The show was so popular that it was revived in 1999, three years after that original run, with 26 more episodes. And then, believe it or not, in 2019 it was revived again. It was a different format that was used this time. I think they were going for like an American Horror Story kind of deal. One season focused on one big anthology story, broken up into several episodes. And the third season only just wrapped up August 13th of this year, if you can believe that. It always surprises me when I do videos like this and research, and it turns out these things are still going somehow. But yeah, Are You Afraid of the Dark is a cultural phenomenon, perhaps a time capsule from the 90s, but somehow it's still going, such is its popularity. And I recommend checking out one or two episodes for a little nostalgia kick. See you tomorrow.